see, what's today, Sam? The 10th? Yeah. December 10th. we got a lot of things to cover, so I'll, I'll move right along instead of horsing around. How's that? Sounds great. That sounds great. Hey, uh, we've got uh, some birthdays today. Sherry Chancellor. I've known Sherry since we were in, in high school together. Uh, Dustin Kennard, Jerry Harper, and Sarah Sperling. And then over here in our Facebook friends. I don't know, Sam, what have I done with it? There we go. Facebook friends, we've got Alana Matta. She's uh, over there at Carl Junction. Uh, she had some kids my kids' age and uh, played a lot of softball when not not her and I, but our kids did when they were younger. Uh, Vance Lewis is today. Vance, uh, golly, that's another guy I've known forever. Trevor is uh, one of his sons, went to school with Kurt. Vance is up there. A lot of the voices you'll hear on Channel 7 uh, uh, commercials is Vance. You, you didn't know that, did you? No. See, you learn something every day. And then uh, also Janetta Everett. She's out in Wichita. She's uh, uh, part of Delta Dental, and I just love Janetta. She's uh, she's the one that heads up the bringing the patients in for the k -Mart. Her crew is the ones that, you know, get them all gathered up and, and bring them in and get them started and keeps them entertained. And, you know, when you bring a 1,000 people that have been out in the cold all night and you bring them in for... For treatment there they need some entertainment and uh, she and her her group of uh, her area they they keep them they keep them going Jeanetta's a great gal happy birthday Jeanetta uh, tomorrow over in Springfield oh Charlie Vogel he's a dentist over there he's quite a character I love Charlie uh, he and his wife uh, and my wife and I had dinner in Chicago here not too long ago really enjoyed that and uh, he's a he's he's quite an innovator when it comes to dentistry always thinking about what what could we do to make it better, make it uh, uh, for patients, for everybody. So, happy birthday, Charlie, tomorrow. And Missy Hughes, used to be Missy Mesplay. And uh, it's, it's her birthday tomorrow as well. She was my sister's age, uh, Missy. I just love Missy. She's a good gal. Uh, and then Saturday, we've got Carrie Soper, another one I've known since. God, I've known a lot of people for I'm getting old, Sam. I knew Carrie. She was in kindergarten when I was in fifth grade. And at Highland School here in Columbus, so that tells, if you know how old I am, you, I'm telling you how old Carrie is. So, and her daughter Kyle's working here in the office now, for high school. So, so uh, happy birthday, Carrie, on Saturday. All right, that covers all that. So I can drop that down. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, winners on our uh, "Why I Love America" or "Why uh, Why I Love My Country." You know, it was kind of combining thankful. Why I'm thankful for my country. Thanksgiving for. November and then also Veterans Day, uh, so kind of a uh, patriotic type of thing. And we have a couple of young people, a young man and a young woman, that uh, uh, we had a whole stack of of uh, entrants this year. Did you get it? Get all the whole stack? And uh, we had several classes send us packets that I think the teacher maybe had them do it as an assignment. So, uh, but we had some great. All the staff kind of went through and picked out a few and. And then uh, narrowed it down, and then we all kind of sat together and picked out the two winners. And uh, so the winners uh, of the of the bicycle, and we'll give that away later here this month, right? Probably around Christmas at a kind of a presentation. Come over and get their bikes. But uh, uh, Alyssa Gowing is one of our winners, and Alec Huffman. So that's great. They're they're great. Uh, a lot of great sentiment in their in their two papers, and uh, we appreciate all everyone entering and giving them a chance to think about why they are thankful for their country. It's always great to have young people doing that. So, congratulations to Alyssa and Alec. Uh, question of the day: At what age should I teach my child the proper way to brush? Well, kids aren't going to be any good at it until they're at least probably four. And they're still not any good at it until they're probably about six. So, you know, you can kind of have them hold a toothbrush in their mouth at two, three, but you're going to be brushing their teeth until about probably four and checking on them until they're six or seven and probably checking on them again from about the time they're 13 to 17 because they start stinking at it again. So, uh, you know, uh, it's part of being a parent. Make sure their teeth are brushed. So, uh, But to start teaching them, and we start teaching them here, when they start getting the dexterity to where they can do that. And that's three, four, somewhere in there. And they make a pass at it. They make an honest effort at it. And then you you do probably ought to sit down and maybe say, okay, let's take a look and kind of help them brush up. So that cover that one? Yes. Good deal. 
Link of the day. I just watched it. Sam, Sam is the gal. She the man, or the gal, or however you want to say it. But uh, she found Elvis and Martina McBride singing together. Uh, Martina was probably five years old when Elvis died, but uh, they, you know, some technology makes that uh, really pretty cool, and it looks nice. It's it's a beautiful uh, blue Christmas with Elvis and Martina. So I wonder if the blue is as blue as her eyes, Sam. Yeah, I don't know. It's a blue Christmas, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's if you get a chance to watch it, watch it. It's really really a good video. Make a comment of our video today. You're entered into next week's drawing uh, for a hundred dollar gift card. Just write something down below here. Uh, we got everything covered there? Yes. I think so. Uh, so uh, all our birthdays have a happy birthday through the weekend and we'll see you again on Monday.